do what you love and people will love you for it, which is what today's guest has proved. She dives into the sublime world of chocolates and comes up with brilliant recipes for bliss. Today we are in conversation with Kutsia Karim, who is the master chocolatier and the founder of Kokosia Artisan Chocolates here in Dubai. Welcome to our show, Kutsia. It's so nice to have you. Thank you for having me. How are you today? Fine, thank you. It's beautiful to be here. Tell us what made you explore the indulgent world of chocolate making and to take it up professionally. Well, it started uh, back in 2010 and uh, I undertook uh, several courses and uh, after that I started making it home. So people started to liking it. Okay. But how it started, I just started with the one course, which is chocolate making. I'm a certified chocolatier. Mm -hmm. And then I went to Vancouver. It was like a way different experience for me, but it was, it was on a very small island called Bowen Island. Mm -hmm. And then I met different kinds of people, different nationalities. So it's it's like from there I started, you know, I should, I should take this as a profession. And then I went to Chocolate Academy Chicago. Okay. Uh, Barry Calibut Academy where I learn actually uh, about chocolate technology. For me, chocolate is not a math, it's a science. It is, it's like true. it doesn't take two to two, it's not an equation, two to two is four. But chocolate is actually a science, like you have to put yourself into to come up with a product. It isn't an easy profession, chocolate and pastry making, it's a precise science. So you've obviously studied extensively and trained extensively to do this. You have to understand what you want to do until mm -hmm. you don't get into the core of your business. You can't come out with an answer. So I explored Europe, like mm -hmm. I went to Baden, Baden, Schweiz, and I, take a, I took a training in Tenli Hermitage, is a small town near Wallace. It's a four hours away from Paris, and that made my uh, life like, you know, this is it. And it's a very small French town, and uh, the way the French explains to you and the techniques they have in hands and uh, the way they treat chocolate as a gem, it really fascinates me. I mean, I, it, it was like a week course, but it, it is quite extensive and it, it gives me an idea to have this kind of uh, niche market, or niche chocolate, or niche product uh, in UAE. And this they took around four years, you said? Uh, th three and a half, you could say. And one year, it took me to establish my brand because uh -huh. I was very picky about what colors I take for as a branding and a location in terms of hiring new stuff and to come up with a concept because I wanted to have this as a boutique and uh, it's more of a like a B2B concept like business okay, to yes. business for a consumer it's a, it's a different it's a different uh, concept to make uh, for me to make people understand oh this is actually a chocolate you are eating. How have the artisan chocolates been received here by the locals and the expats because everybody seems to have a very adventurous palate here. It is indeed. Uh, well, you, I could divide it into uh, two parts. Some like take it um, as a concept and they appreciate a lot and some of them they think that it's just a chocolate because Dubai like it's full of chocolate places like most of the people they have the copy paste concept mm -hmm. of chocolate. Also. So what sets your brand apart from everything else? What's a little extra bit of love that goes into your chocolate? Actually, we focus more on the quality mm -hmm. uh, rather than the quantity. We uh, we use um, high quality ingredients from uh, mainly from France and, and all other uh, parts of Europe. And uh, highest quality of uh, coaches we use and mm -hmm. the sugar content is very less. Like for example, uh, in uh, caramel, as everyone knows, it's made out of uh, sugar, but in on all of our chocolates are more concentrated on uh, uh, on a high quality mm -hmm. ingredients like I said earlier because uh, the sugar content is very low and uh, should could be maximum sugar content I would say in a 10 gram chocolate is a less than half grams okay. so it's, it's quite low and it's very light you can easily have three and four and we add we don't add any preservative from our side was this your passion that turned into profession or was it just plain serendipity well, I was always fond of gourmet chocolates, mm -hmm. but uh, it just happened like that. Like I, it was never planned it for me. But uh, by me, I, I met a lot of renowned chefs, uh, like chocolatiers and all. That made me, you know, um, very fascinated to go into uh, the chocolate, world of chocolate yes. making. That's okay. it. Yeah, and it makes it refreshes me, and uh, I like it. I enjoy it. How do you unwind and come back refreshed with new and creative ideas? Well, uh, I have uh, I, I personalize uh, chocolates. Like for example, somebody comes up and I want this kind of chocolate infused into this kind of herbs. We can uh, we can personalize the chocolate by keeping the water activity level of chocolate in mind. Like uh, it has to be a certain extent that to manage uh, shelf life. 
because okay. like that. So you enjoy yeah, and I refresh enjoy. yourself through your work itself? Yeah, sometimes I, I'm workaholic and sometimes I do go out, but I like to uh, innovate new ideas. Mm -hmm. For example, last year we did a, quite a few collections throughout the year, like Eid collection with some, um, with some dates in it and uh, Diwali co collection was so fantastic. All oh, right, okay. Is there any part of your present life that you would perhaps like to change? Uh, not really. Uh, I've been blessed with a good family and uh, I have, uh, I'm surrounded by good friends. So I don't think so. I need to change. And you have a beautiful anything. shop full of chocolates and lovely people working here with you. So yeah, yeah very Thank happy, you. I'm guessing. Would you like to give our viewers any advice on how to follow their dreams and their heart? Oh, well, I always believe don't give up. Mm -hmm. Always follow your dreams with passion and hard work. Every new tends to open up and results always take time. Mm -hmm. You have to understand what you want and how you want All things right. to be placed. Thank you so much, Kutsia, for the conversation. It was brilliant talking to you today. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be Ours here. as well.